I have to start tonight uh, today's show with an order of business of defending a friend of mine. And, you know, Aaron and I talked about yesterday how ridiculous the world has become. And Aaron used the example of me saying I was going to take the uh, Faber uh, College Eat Me Mobile and run down the people with the parade that we're having, this 0-16 parade. And we laughed and joked how nobody played, you know, that moron in Florida, Libertard or whatever his name is, you know, they took everything literally. I, I was joking that I was going to use the Eat Me Mobile to run. They didn't play that. All they did was play, I will mow you down. It's a sensationalistic type of society where people find stuff like this, run with it, and try and get clicks. That's where we're at. Folks, we're almost at the point now where no one can say anything because it gets taken out of context and misconstrued. So yesterday, Bernie Kosar came on this show, and apparently some people took this as a slam or joke about Dwight Clark's ALS. Listen to this. We love you, and how have you been? No, you know, we haven't talked in a while. You look great. You feel good? Yeah, I mean, I've been doing so much of uh, the the holistic approach to it. We had a bad weekend with um, Gail Sayers being diagnosed. Oh, um, Dwight Clark, the, uh, you know very well. Dwight Clark with ALS. Um, you know, I can make a joke about um, his struggles um, in picking players when he's here. It almost makes me wonder if maybe it started earlier. Um, These are things just, nobody knows, right? You're right. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, the Lou Gehrig's disease is a rough one. Yeah. And, and um, Now, if you think that was Bernie slamming or making a joke about Dwight Clark's ALS... Do me a favor and shut this radio off. Shut the station off now. I'll tell you this right now. Bernie doesn't have a mean bone in his body. The guy would never in a million years make fun of someone with ALS. Bernie is dealing with his own issues. Dwight Clark was terrible at picking players here. We know that. And when Bernie said, I could wonder if this started before, he was being sincere. You don't know when ALS starts. His point was, when you're diagnosed, you could have had it for years or decades. People are learning about all this. He's dealing with his own issues. If you thought there was any malice... In that statement or that interview, you're wrong. And I'm here to tell everybody who thinks that was the case, they're wrong. Now, apparently, Mr. D in Youngstown misconstrued what Bernie said. I know we got people that listen to the show that know Mr. DeBartolo, who I respect very much. Please let him know that Bernie would never in a billion years, make fun of anyone with ALS, let alone a former player and a guy that he knew that worked here in Cleveland. You know, we went on and said thoughts and prayers to Dwight Clark and his family when we found this out a couple days ago. It's no joke. And and for people to write Bernie Kosar jokes about ALS, I want retractions. Cleveland.com, you better get your act together. There was one part in in, in Cleveland.com's, Mary Kay wrote there was a rim shot after Kozar's comments. I have no idea where what moron on the internet did that, but I assure you it was no one at this station or they would be fired. Today, get your facts right, Mayor. You pulled that off the internet that some bozo put on there. This attacking Bernie is unbelievable to me. I'm going to tell you right now, the guy's crushed. 
Bernie would never do that in a billion years. And Cleveland, you know Bernie. And he's not mean. And he's not, there's no malice in that. And he feels terrible. And so do I. All I did was have the guy on to promote his wine. Bernie is dealing with holistic ways. You heard the interview. If you didn't hear the interview yesterday, again, I don't know how you can can call this. We a, love you. I, I don't know. How have you been? How Nobody, you know, we haven't earth. talked in a while. You look there great. Was you no feel good. There was no laughing. There was no rim shot. I mean, I've been doing so I, I'm gonna, much I'll of, tell you right now. I'm going to find the, out what the legal action the is. I can take against it. Cleveland.com for that. had a bad weekend. Rim shot. With... Um, Gail Sears. Somebody did that on the internet. Dwight Clark, uh, you know very well. Dwight Clark. And you guys put it on your website as if we did it. Guess what? That's against the law. We didn't do it. As stated in her article, rim shot. Boy, the next article they get right will be the first one. I am livid. That people would think this about this man. I don't know what you think Bernie is, and I quite frankly don't care. But I tell you one thing, there ain't a mean bone in his body. And he certainly didn't mean to make a joke about Dwight Clark. Do you think he would come on here and joke about someone's ALS? Do you think a 55-year-old man would do that? A guy that's played in the year, got his head bashed in, dealing with issues that none of you could even imagine? Do you think he would do that? You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Truly. And poor Mr. D sitting there. He probably saw something on Twitter. Somebody let him know. No way, shape, or form would someone make fun of someone with ALS. I can't even believe I have to address this. I don't. I can't. Actually, I can. Folks, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. The way the world is today, you, 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 all you kids that want to come do this for a living, don't. That is my advice to you. You can't say or do anything. People want to tear everyone down. Bernie Kosar is suffering from his own issues. He's Cleveland's beloved son. And this is what we get on, on the website for our city and other TV websites. Or who knows who picked this? Bernie Kosar jokes about Dwight Clark's ALS. Give me a break. We love you. And how have you been? No, you know, we haven't talked in a while. You look great. You feel good? Yeah. I mean, I've been doing so much of uh, the, the holistic approach to it. We had a bad weekend with um, Gail Sears being oh. diagnosed. Um, Dwight with Clark, the, uh, you know very well. Dwight Clark with ALS, um, you know, I can make a joke about um, his struggles um, in picking players when he's here. It almost makes me wonder if maybe it started earlier. Um, These are things just, nobody knows, right? You're right. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, the Lou Gehrig's disease is a rough one. Yeah. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't I I didn't take away from that, Bernie, and I'm here to defend my friend and this is my show and I will do it. I'll do it for 4 hours if I have to. Because the people that are taking shots at him right now, it's not being it's not fair. It's not. It's not fair at all. He would never have joked about that. He tweeted last night. N- in no way Pat McManaman at least wrote the the article this morning with a something from Bernie in it. The other people just took the line and ran with it. Clicks, clicks, clicks. Get us clicks. Get us clicks. How many hits? Kozar makes fun of. Yeah. Are you out of you? You boy. That's low stuff, man. I've seen low stuff in this business. People want to take shots at you. We're from Cleveland and we got Cleveland taking shots at. That's so Cleveland, isn't it? Just kill your own. Eat your own. Right? People taking shots at us every chance they get. That's what this has turned into, folks. You're afraid to say anything. You can't give your opinion on anything. Because God forbid somebody on the internet is going to go ahead and run with one chunk of one line. 
And I don't know where that rim shot thing came from, but I'm telling you right now, on behalf of my entire partners at Good Karma Brands, nobody here did that. No one would ever do that. And if they did, they wouldn't be in this building today. And I don't know what was going on here at 6 o'clock last night. Dave Skosen will have to answer to that. But you guys take this stuff like this and run with that, that's that's chicken blank, and you know it. You know it is. I'm ashamed to say that I'm working in a business that does stuff like that. Honest to God, I am. I really am. Boy, that's how you know when it's time to get the hell out. I don't need this crap. Neither does Bernie. I am livid at what is going on here. Headlines, Kozar makes joke about Dwight Clark ALS. What? What in the world? And to not get a hold of Bernie and, and find out what, what was really said, or at least get a hold of us and find out and play the whole thing, I think, is irresponsible. Crap journalism. Internet journalism. Fake news. I got to come in here and address this today. It's a joke. It's a joke. And I apologize to Bernie. Please, someone let Mr. D know that there's no way that would ever happen. And certainly Dwight Clark and his family. God bless. What do you think we are? What do you people, what do you, I, I would love someone to look me in the face and go, oh yeah, Bernie'd do that. Bernie'd make a joke about it. Come on, man. Come on. How long have we, how long have you known Bernie and me? Literally 35 years we've been doing this, be it playing, talking, whatever. Come on, man. Yeah, we're going to take a shot at Dwight Clark. Right. That's what we do here on the really big show. I, I am, folks, I, I, I'm, I, first of all, I want to, I want to make everyone understand this. No way, shape, or form would I have let Bernie do that. I wouldn't let anyone do that to anyone on this show. My goodness. I, I know everybody's calling. I, I don't, I'm not even, you know what? I, I want to, I, I, I don't want to deal. I, I've got a huge giveaway today. We're doing the Papa John's thing today. All right. Somebody's going to be a ball boy for the Cavs. Thank God for the Cavs. Oh. All right. So please, no, no, no more about this. I don't, I don't, I'm so, I feel so bad for Bernie. I, you guys know. I mean, where's 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 buddies? Where's friends to stick up for him? I will, I will. I've known this guy a long time, and there's no way he'd do that. That's a horrible thing to be accused of. It really is. I feel terrible about the whole thing. I do. All I, all I wanted to do was have the guy come in and and, and talk about his wine. How sad, man! What a sad. Such a sad, sad state of affairs. People would run with something like that. Look, if you looked at that headline, look, when I saw it, I didn't know, you know me, I'm at home, I don't, I'm not connected to the internet every second of my life. I'm at home and I get a call and I, I go on, I look, I'm like, what? When I saw that Bernie makes joke about Dwight Clark's ALS, no. No, he said I could joke about the way he picked players, which, by the way, was not good. Dwight was never a GM again. I don't want to sit here and rag on the job the guy did. He's sick. But to think that Bernie would make fun of a guy with ALS. Now, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm speechless. He didn't want to come on today. He's already. I I told him he could come on and clear up his name. I guess the job is mine, and I do the best I can.
It's just amazing to me how this stuff happens anymore in this business. It is absolutely ridiculous. It, it's it's like there's two shows going on. There's one for the general public. They're so gullible. They have no idea what the hell's going on. They believe anything they read on the Internet. And then there's the show for the intelligent people who know what the hell's going on. I don't know which category you fall into. Yeah, I, I just, I, I can't believe it. To see that, to see that headline in print. Kozar jokes about, are you, are, you, are you out of your mind? Dwight Clark's admission of ALS used as a joke by Bernie Kozar. That is the headline. I will never go to this website again. Never. Never, ever. Right below, they have argument against drafting Miles Garrett. That is unbelievable, folks. If that's what you're into, if that's what you want to read, go right ahead. And as far as that rim shot thing on there, I have no idea who put that in there. I tell, promise you, it was no one on this show, no one at this station. That was some internet uh, wannabe funny guy. How awful, man. How awful. I'm glad Aaron isn't here. I really am. I'll take this on. I'll do. I'll, I'll be the guy. I, I don't care. I'll be the bad guy. It didn't bother me. I am. I am a bother being a bad guy. I speak my mind. I know what I believe in. I know right from wrong. I've done this a long time. I don't know if you know that. Hey, it's Throwback Thursday, everybody. Come on, let's have fun. Yeah, you know what I feel like doing right now? Going back to bed. I, I, I am mortified, honestly. I just can't believe it. I, I guess I should. I guess I should believe it. I guess I, I'm old enough. I've done this long enough. You know, there was no internet when I started doing this. It was a lot better. It was. It was a lot better than it is today. This has become a landmine for God knows what. Uh, I, I got Grossi at 10. I got Brady Quinn at 1030. If I, we're going to talk to Brady about the quarterbacks. He's working for ESPN. ESPN? Or NFL Network. Is it NFL Network? I'll, I'll ch- I, I think I, it's NFL yeah. Network. I think Brady works for NFL Network. We still have a... F- <clears throat> we still have a mystery sound. And I've got the Papa John's giveaway, folks. Four tickets to see the Cavs Wizards Saturday, March 25th. But your child is going to get the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to stand at center court and receive a basketball from one of the starting five Cavaliers. You register online now. ESPNClevelandContest.com under the Papa John's tab. ESPN Cleveland Contest. Yeah, I'm going to call a number. You give us your phone number. Throughout the course of the day, when I'm done explaining everything to everyone, if you answer the phone, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's, you're going to get that. Uh, you're going to get the tickets and the chance for your kid to be a ball uh, ball person. We've done it before. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a good contest. It's also Throwback Thursday. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to do that, but I had to defend my my. I had to defend number one, my friend. Number two, Bernie. And number three, this show. At no point would this show ever advocate making fun of anyone from that has ALS. I guess I have to say that. I kind of thought it was, you know, understood. And I apologize for hijacking the first segment, but I'm the only guy to, to do it. No one else gives is giving Bernie the benefit of the doubt. And again, I'll stand by him a million years over. There's no way you would want to make fun of anybody with ALS. That's that's just not him. Stay with us.